Hello, I'm Sophia. I'm Jacob. I'm Thomas. And I'm Frank. And we're Team 5485, the Gorilla Bots. Today we're joined with a very special guest, alumni, Andrew Joyner. Andrew was on the team, Gorilla Bots, for four years and is back with us today to share some of the insight that he gained over the years. To start off, Andrew, what made you want to join robotics? Well, I liked playing with Legos and building different types of things, so I figured why not? We'll try robotics and that was what I ended up doing, being a builder and having a you know, a challenge, the game, so. So you started in FLL? I did not. I jumped right into FTC. Nice. Uh, in, on the Gorilla Bots, how do you think you made an impact on the team? Uh, well, um, so formally I did a lot of the building and a portion of the driving, um, but mostly it was um, trying, like, questions about design you know, trying to have those conversations and trying to make the, some of the rational or you know, data-driven decisions to make um, gameplay better. Um, How would you describe your experience on the team? My experience on the team was not sporadic or chaotic, but interesting. <laughs> I, it, I mean, <laughs> you, you know, you're, you're around everybody for 30, 40 hours a week during a competition week and you spend a lot of time together. Um, you become friends, you become frenemies, you know, you, 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 you're dealing with each other a lot and you get a lot of team building and um, engineering thought process out of the, being a part of the team. Um, and p part of that learning experience is how to deal with your peers and, you know, and growing that, those relationships. How would, you, uh, how would you say being on the team prepared you for your professional career? When you start college, you don't know anybody around you for the most part. I mean, you might have a couple of friends that you knew, but the majority of people you will not know. And part of that is learning how to, how, how to deal with them and how to work with them, but also how to make your ideas heard, but also listen to their ideas. And that was a big portion of robotics for me was learning how to convey my ideas and how to ask better questions mm. when it came to their designs so that you could come together and make a better solution and also make sure that you understood each other so that you might have a great idea, but if you can't explain it to them in a way that they understand and will acknowledge it, then you don't make a lot of progress. What would you say was one of like the like, biggest or like, best moments that you had on the team? Definitely, let's see, what was it, my junior year when we were at Worlds and we had, I think, 90, 95% cap rate with the yoga ball. It, it just was that feeling of, okay, we made something that's reliable and repeatable and it was a successful design, but also um, I was a part of working on that with other people that I'd grown and had worked with you know, quite frequently and spent a lot of time with, and that was... You know, just like, okay, we've done something pretty well. Yeah. What kind of, like, parting advice would you give for people joining robotics, like, considering joining robotics? It, it, it is a challenge, but it's also a lot of fun. I mean, mm -hmm. you don't understand or recognize what you've learned or what you've grown through until a little ways out of it, but you do get as much out of it as you put in. <laughs> One final question for you today. Um, do you think that clam chowder is a soup or a stew? I'm going to have to go with stew. Uh, yeah! Yeah! yeah. That's good. yeah. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> Just because of how thick it is. I mean, yeah. it's been boiled down Common sense. for a lot yeah. of it. Yeah. <laughs> soup can reduce too. It can, but usually stews are more reduced. True. Yeah. What is, the, what is the limit for you? You know what, whatever. 51%. 51%. <laughs> Very specific. So in terms of viscosity. Correct. Correct. Viscosity. Correct. Don't talk to me about what viscosity. What egg drop soup. Have you, have you, have you had that? Egg, egg drop soup. Yeah, but, but is, it, is egg drop soup chunky? Chunky. Chunky. Well, you can put vegetables in it. Would it become a stew after that? Well, what's your ratio of vegetable <laughs> liquid to solid? I don't know. I mean, what 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 would we define? 
you know what, this interview. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today, Andrew. And uh, tune into our next podcast. To be but, continued. To be continued. Bye.